Hey everybody, it's Type of Dudes again. I'm Joe. I'm DT, and we have special guests Holly, Mitch, and Felipe joining us for another video reaction. And we got something pretty cool. This will be the first time we are reacting to Rodney Dangerfield, and it's also the first time we're seeing Johnny Carson. Yeah. So uh, this is circa 1974. Mitch, you were... Let's go as a junior. A junior. <laughs> Good times. So, Where's the kegger? So Mitch knows a little something about this time period. As, as you probably know, that we're kind of diving into the 70s currently. And so uh, this is a... Epic. Pretty, yeah. Very famous comedian. Uh, have you have you heard of Rodney Dangerfield? I've heard of him. I wasn't yeah. around then, but I have heard of him. So this will actually be your first time hearing him do anything. I think so, yes. Okay. Please. You ever watched Caddyshack? I've seen yeah. Caddyshack. I recognize him from like film, but I don't think I've ever seen mm -hmm. this stand up. Caddyshack was 1980? 1980, right? Was it that? Don't look at me. I wasn't even an idea. It was in the 80s. It was, it was definitely. Early 80s. I want to say 1980. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Caddyshack. I'm surprised yeah. you even know what that is. Uh, I've never seen that movie. Uh, really? All right. Um, I don't know. I've Bill never Murray. seen that movie. Really? <laughs> Caddyshack? Oh! I know it's a classic. Have you seen Groundhog's Day? With Bill Murray? Yeah. Yeah. But that's in like the same, same vein of movie. That was like a, t a 10, 12 year difference. But there. it's like the same type of movie. Ah, okay. If you've seen one, you basically <laughs> should How see dare you. Well, what's, what's the name of that, uh, that, that the writer guy? Uh, Harold? Ramis? Ramis? Yeah. Is that the, okay, I think he did. Yeah, Ghostbusters. Yeah, yeah. The, Egon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do know that one. Okay, all right, we're getting ready to react to uh, Rodney Dangerfield on Johnny Carson, 1974. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Ready. Let's go. What a crowd. What a crowd. <laughs> now, I'll tell you, I'm all right now. The seven I was in rough shape, though, you know? Yeah, my wife, she started in again, you know? She keeps throwing up to me. I went to Las Vegas and went broke playing the slot machine. Oh, Vegas, I got slot machines over. Even in supermarkets. I went into my container of milk. Cost me $238. <laughs> now, I'll tell you the truth. I had trouble with my wife before we got married, you know? We went together for six months. Then she gave me the air. Told me it was all over. I said, what's the matter? Is there somebody else? She looked at me. She said, there must be. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, my wife, I never got no respect. No respect at all, you know? We were going steady. She told me, don't talk about sex until we get married. We got married. She told me, now you can talk about it all you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm married 20 years. All I get is smart answers and bad cooking. My wife's cooking, forget about her cooking. But the other night I left over a hamburger. She used it to scrub the sink. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had to come yeah. and get it. My house is try and eat it. <laughs> the trouble with me is I'm too easy going, you know? Like this afternoon, I had a bite to eat in a restaurant. I got busy, I had to share a table with somebody. He sat down an old man. Must have been in his 80s. I mean, this guy was old. I asked him to pass me the salt and pepper. He had to make two trips. <laughs> <laughs> I never get lucky in restaurants. I had dinner last night in a Chinese restaurant. I opened my fortune cookie. And it was a guy's check next to me. <laughs> I said to him, hey, buddy, I got your check. He said, thanks. <laughs> so I mean, his wise guys. I was going to take a little vacation, talk to some guy who works in a travel agency. He told me I could spend six nights in Puerto Rico. No days, just six nights in Puerto Rico. <laughs> I said to him, well, I do myself days. He said, you can do whatever you want. Just keep out of Puerto Rico. <laughs> That would mean nothing works out, you know. My neighborhood's getting worse. I told you before, I live in a tough neighborhood, you know. Just last week, a guy pulled a knife on me. I could see it wasn't a real professional job. There was butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I live, you can't protect yourself. But one day, there's a knock on my front door. I figure I'll play it safe. I open the peephole. A guy reached in and grabbed me. <laughs> I tell you, my building is nothing but robberies. Every time I close a window, I hit somebody's hand. <laughs> <laughs> nothing but robberies over there. But the other night, I took the wife and kids out. I figured I'd play it safe. Left all lights on the apartment, left the radio on, left a note in the front door, the notes that I'm inside. <laughs> Came home that night, I still got robbed. The guy left his own note. He said, I looked all over for you. He's a New Yorker, 
Every time you close the windows, you hurt somebody's That's fingers. That's what happens in my building, John. Yes. <laughs> That's I wouldn't lie to you, know yeah. that. No, it's nice of you to make the trip out here. It's my pleasure, John. It's over here. You meet so many wonderful, wonderful people full of love here in California. It is, right, you do, right. Really, really work. Right. You really are the nice people. I tell you. In fact, coming over here, I had a cab driver just full of love. You know? Really, and this guy kept talking and talking. He was so happy. He told me all the people he had in his cab, you know. And then he described in detail how he had them. It's interesting. I didn't know that. It's, it's another one I should have tried. Out. Love, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just try them right yeah, out yeah, here. You gotta break them in all over, you know. But yeah. he was a sexy cab driver. Taylor, well, I'm was, sexy huh? myself lately. I don't know what it is. Really? Maybe the weather, whatever. Very so I'd be personal not like that. But remember, it can happen to anybody getting sexy. Yeah. Yeah, I went out last week, I tried something new last week. Right? In fact, group sex. Group? Yeah. Oh. Now I have a new problem. I don't know who to thank. <laughs> wow. Oh, that was a wild party I went to last wild week. Party, oh, huh? A wild party, huh? A wild party. No, I wish you were there. Ooh, yes, I like the bed. I got there, I rang the bell, a big naked blonde came to the door. Yeah. And he was the butler. And the butler. <laughs> How'd you know he was the butler? Oh, I knew he was the butler because you could tell me he was... <laughs> I knew he wasn't the maid. That's the truth. Yeah. I didn't look at You got to be careful here. But I, uh, no, but sex is a powerful thing. Yes, it is. <laughs> really? No, as you get a little older, you think it diminishes at all? No, no, sex is a powerful thing. Powerful no, really thing. Yes, powerful. it is. I mean, a guy meets a girl, he's not sure if he likes her. A guy takes her out, he'll take her out a few times, spend all kinds of money on her, ask her all kinds of questions, you know. That's where a dog is lucky, you know. A dog is smart. You know, a dog meets another dog, you don't have to go through all that. He's out with one smell. She's for me. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, I love dogs. You love dogs, I love yeah. dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that. I love dogs. Yeah. Dogs are very... I work with some great dog guys. Great, great mm -hmm. dog guys, Johnny. Great dog guys. I work with Carmine's Canines. Carmine's great Canines. Oh, great acts. <laughs> yeah, great acts. Uh, Laverne and her boxer. Oh, boy. <laughs> Laverne and her boxer. I miss yeah, that act. Sure. And show business. Show business. Tough business. Dog guys. These are great acts. Yeah. Know. And show you know how tough show business oh, is. Certainly. Oh, it's tough show business. Oh, boy. Sometimes I think back of all the women I had to sleep with to get where I got. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm the I ladies, know. man. You know that. You know. As a kid in showbiz, I never got killed. Never. Yeah. Never. As a kid in showbiz, I mean, my big score was Baltimore, 1949. A chubby waitress with acne. I remember her very well. I got lucky one night. You know? Yeah. Yeah, girls always give me a hard time. I never got lucky with girls. In fact, just last night, a hooker made me say, please. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll tell you, Johnny, I count my blessings. Count your blessings. Count my blessings. As long as you have your health. Oh, my God. Johnny, got to count your blessings. Um, thank heaven I'm doing okay today, and I had a tough for years, you know. Yeah, so I, I paid it. a lot of dues, Johnny. Worked a lot of tough joints, you know, Fonzo's Knuckle Room. Remember that? Fonzo's place? Knuckle Room. <laughs> oh, he was tough, Fonzo. Was he tough? Oh, Fonzo, he was the first one. He started acupuncture, you know. Yeah, with an ice pick. Oh, that's <laughs> How does he keep it going? I had a tough for years, Johnny. Tough years, tough. Huh? Uh, everybody has a tough, I guess. Nice everybody has problems. I met a guy last week with a problem. Oh. Boy, this guy told me he, he had an affair with a girl three months ago. The guy's going nuts. He didn't know what to do. Yeah. He told me what happened was the rabbit didn't die. It just stays in critical condition. <laughs> <laughs> Problems all over problems the place. All over. But I told you before, and I'm going to tell you again, Johnny. Yeah. Help is the whole thing is help. You got to take care. As long of as you have your help, take care of you. You got to think young, hobbies, interests. You got to think young. Right. I try to think young all the time. You know what I mean? I always do that. Can I have a cigarette? Too? Certainly. It's not good for your health, though. Yeah. So I got a crazy yeah, doctor told me to keep smoking if I want to stop chewing gum. So what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> is that the same doctor you? Uh... Doctor Vinnie Bumbat. It's Vinnie Bumbat. <laughs> Ah, uh, health is important. I got into astrology lately. They got a new interest. Oh, did you? Astrology is very you good. Follow that closely. You mean huh? girls? That's all they talk about. It's astrology. Astrology. Sure, astrology. What sign are you on? Do you know? That's what they talk about. I'll tell you, the girls I meet, they're all born under the same sign. Well, what's that? For rent. I... <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Oh, I'll tell you what I do. <laughs> This is back when you can smoke. Not I watch television. I get healthy from television. You get healthy from television. How can you get healthy from watching television? Who's talking here? <laughs> <laughs>
From just I watching watch, television? That's right, the commercials, the public service commercials. Uh -huh. They get all kinds of tips how to take care of yourself. You know, they're very, very good, really. Tips, huh? I saw one last week, a commercial, a public service commercial was beauty, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a guy came out, he said, hi. My name is Bob, this is my wife Ann, my daughter Susie, my son Bob Jr. Right in front, here's my mom and dad. Now, we've all had VD. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta take care of your health. That's the whole thing of health, yes. Oh, that's right. And you gotta get the brakes. You gotta get the brakes. Brakes are important along with good health. Brakes. Brakes are brakes are probably just as important as good health. Yeah, yeah. That's right. I never got the brakes. Never got never got the brakes. Never. I was a kid and never got the brakes. Never. I was eight years old on Halloween once. My old man, he dressed me up. He sent me out as the pipe pipe, you know? In two hours, every rat in the neighborhood was following me. I never got that break. A lot of pressure going for me, Johnny. A lot of pressure going for me. I'll tell you, it's a lot of pressure. How are things going to the club? What was that? How are things going at the club? Very well, very well. I'm on vacation now. For the month of July, I'm on vacation. I mean, the breeze and I. Remember those acts? Who do you have in there now while you're gone? Do you have some big acts in there? Porter's cleaning up. Porter's in there. Whatever. Who's in there? <laughs> a lot of pressure going for me. It's just terrible. It's like pressure, like a heaviness. It's always on top of me, that yeah. heaviness. It's always there. Mm -hmm. Other guys wake up in the morning, ah, new day, up and at him. I wake up, the pressure's pressure, the heaviness is waiting for me, nice, the heaviness. Uh -huh. And sometimes I even talk to it. I say, hi, heaviness. Huh? <laughs> and the heaviness looks back at me, today you're going to get it good, you know. <laughs> You'll be drinking early today. <laughs> <laughs> And I can't drink. I'm a bad drinker. I'm a bad drinker. I have no idea what a bad drinker I am, Johnny. When I drink, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm telling you, I mix them up. Yeah, you know, I went out for dinner the other night, had a few drinks before dinner. The waiter came over. I ordered roast beef on the rocks. <laughs> but you gotta have memories. 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 My father was chaplain there. Well, that's true. That's no kidding around. Yeah. Really? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Maybe folks like to see my old man with chaplain over there. Is that real? Wow. Yeah, if you Your get a closer. Standing, right yeah, there. my dad's with the camera, no? and the chaplain's with the derby. That was 23. Well, he was 23, 60 years ago, San Francisco at position. Wow. That's yeah, really I cool. can tell you a lot of stories about Baudreau. That's rather interesting. You want to see one of your old pictures? Yeah, yeah I, my old man was in Baudreau. And... Let me picture somebody dug out one of your early publicity pictures. What was this? Do you remember these? These. Only pictures they would uh, uh, they would take. Take a look at this. Well, look at the monitor. Look at the monitor. Remember, look at that. He's got a gun with a little doll. That's oh, one of those typical. Oh, Somebody dug that out. <laughs> Does that bring the? Where are you going, Rodney? <laughs> Leave me alone, he says. Isn't it a beauty? Thought you might want to have that. Oh, it's a beauty. You could have that. That was my first theatrical picture. Now I tell you the truth, what happened? I went. I took the picture straight. I didn't like it. Yeah. The guy told me I got props, so I got props, and then. Uh, I used to do bits with this doll, you yeah. know. I used to do, like the different ways people would spank their kids, like a barber hitting his kid, you know, like this. You know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll okay. be right back after one of these. <laughs> <laughs> I think that really embarrassing <laughs> to see that picture. Yeah. It yeah. is an embarrassing photo. <laughs> All right, that okay. was uh, back in the day. You didn't know if your, you know, your past could be dug up like that. That's <laughs> true. Isn't that still the case? Can you? Imagine? Oh no, everybody, everybody. <laughs> <says it's still> <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked at the speed that he can keep going yeah, like that. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he had the, the amount of work that he must have to do to prepare to be able to go like that. I've never seen anyone with that many one-liners back to back like that. Yeah, yeah. you got to give Johnny credit too because he he was playing off him really well, yeah. and so. But yeah, that was that was impressive just to see the speed in which Rodney can can pull those off and keep like straight. You know, and you see a lot of comedians now they kind of like break a little bit or they look laugh. Yeah, like there was no hesitation. He transitioned from one thing to the next. You know, live they're yeah. on live television. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is a skill. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Yeah. Yeah. What did you guys think? 
He's almost like the blueprint for a lot of comedians we see today. I can't even th- compare him to anybody. It I reminds me of Mitch Hedberg a little Mitch bit. Mitch Hedberg. Norm MacDonald. Kind of mm, a little bit, yeah. He's like good at that kind of banter and then that th- that punchline that comes out of left field that catches you off guard. Yeah, yeah. but it doesn't seem as... Like, Rodney just is really sharp with Rapid it. Yeah, fire. yeah, yeah. Rapid fire. I did yeah. notice... One thing I noticed immediately was his suit. Mm-hmm. I can't think of any modern-day comedians that wear a suit and tie. <laughs> and he, and <laughs> and they're kept, usually uh, looking a little yeah. like they roll out of bed. And he yeah. kept doing this. Yeah, he's yeah, adjusting so, I mean, his tie. I guess maybe he is wasn't that, that part of his... So his, his line is, I get no respect. Right. So he'll do that over and yeah, over again. But he good. plays that role of somebody who doesn't get respect in every one of these stories, right? Mm-hmm. Whether he's at the, uh, okay. at the restaurant or with his wife yeah. or... Whoever it is, his yeah. the doctor, Benny Boomba. <laughs> <laughs> the and prostitute. Just, yeah, the, yeah, everything <laughs> is self-deprecating. Which yeah. and but at that era, that was sort of the comedy. It was it was uh, before him was a guy named Henny Youngman. That was more mm-hmm. '60s, but it's just rapid fire. Okay. And uh, the other thing that was hard to do then is to be funny without swearing. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh. So today I think of like a Chris Rock or a yeah. Kevin Hart or sure. a club. Yeah. And I mean, how would you do it? Yeah. That's and true. a lot of the stuff is pretty vulgar. Like Amy Schumer is pretty yeah. vulgar. Yeah, it's kind of the thing. Yeah. Well, also 1974, like when did they start talking about sex and like some of the subject matter he went into. Um, this is 1974. Was that right. pretty? Was, it, was that kind of where it was going? We're that, that, we were on the edge there. So this is uh, you couldn't. I I think there was something about time of day. Like oh, uh, so a late night Carson oh, yeah. is 11, 11:30. Ah, yeah. okay. So I think I don't know if it was 10 o'clock, 11 that's, o'clock. Or whatever. That's why he. He like looked at the. He was like, "Oh, it's eleven thirty. Now we now we can. Oh, is that what that meant? That's what. Yeah, oh. I didn't even yeah. catch that. I didn't that. get what that was, but that makes ah, sense. Ah, yeah, good catch, good catch, Joe. Okay. Yeah. Well, that. Uh, yeah, that was uh, the legendary Rodney Dangerfield. My first time seeing him like with on stand up. I've never seen him do a stand up thing before. And uh, Johnny Carson. I don't know a whole lot about him. I just saw his suit. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time hearing these names. I don't know. You never even heard of <laughs> no. Johnny? Oh, wow. <laughs> the baby over here. Uh, all right. on, the, on the Mount Rushmore of talk, so I mean, it would be Carson, Carson. Letterman, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I would agree uh, maybe Leno. Leno. I, I think, uh, yeah, Leno would be in the discussion. In the, in the discussion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Debatable. Yeah, debatable. But he, he's yeah. the, God, the godfather. Was he the first, like, late night show guy? Uh, he wasn't the first, but the one that really exploded. Ah. Mm. Yeah, I think there was a guy named Steve Allen that he took mm. the show from. Mm. You know who that is? I've heard of him. I've never seen <laughs> him. Even less, I've seen a few, like, my parents were huge Carson fans. Yeah. But I'm so. telling you, if you like Rodney and you've not seen Caddyshack, oh, right. yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> all right. We might yeah. have to have a he is... movie night. <laughs> there was there was a movie that I remember of his. I don't even think it was in theaters. I think it was like direct to video, but it was called The Fourth Tenor. And mm-hmm. Rodney Dangerfield plays as like this old, old guy. I think he runs like a, um, a restaurant or something. Anyway, he... Goes after this beautiful young woman. Okay. And it's just, it's, it, it was really funny. But really good. I used to watch that movie over and over again as a kid. I mean, yeah. The first Rodney, the only Rodney Dangerfield movie that I know is the soccer movie. Ladybugs? Oh, oh, oh. Uh, the, the, I don't know. In the 90s where he was a soccer coach? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm not saying uh, Yeah. No. But it was like 1994. That's the only Rodney, that's the only time I ever heard of him. Is it, was it good? No. I mean, <laughs> half of these movies aren't good. It's like yeah. Adam Sandler. Yeah. Like, half of the movies aren't good, but you still like hey, it. Hey, I like Adam Sandler. No, I like it too. His but, movies are terrible. But, but, you yeah, could, but I love them. But Rodney was old. Like, he, was like, yeah. he was much older than than here. And yeah. So he was yeah. kind of like at the, on the end of his career. Yeah. Still funny as hell. Yeah. But it was a goofy ass movie. And yeah. I, but I'd never <laughs> seen like the classics that people talk about, like Caddyshack, mm-hmm. which I probably should oh, do. Yeah. Once movie. again, I've never heard. And then, yeah. Yeah. Believe me. <laughs> Sorry. It hurts me. It hurts me. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you what? next time. He always forgets this part. 
two announcements. Right. We got a Patreon going, and a couple of you have subscribed. Oh, that's right. Thank you so <laughs> much. And we saw we got a tip for the first time. Thank you so much. We really appreciate all that you guys do commenting, subscribing, having these great discussions. And I really like when we go back and forth when I comment and you guys, you know, some self-deprecating things there because I know a lot of you guys like to make fun of us. So oh, and, speaking of that, we are we, we're probably going to be watching uh, the full movie of Blazing Saddles. Yes. Yeah, so Every, everybody's been asking that, us. I, that one I know. You know so, that. Yeah. so on know our really. Patreon, there's yeah. a lot of stuff on YouTube we can't post. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be watching full episodes of your favorite All in the Family, Jefferson, Sanford and Sons, and The Blazing Saddles. So Yeah, so we're going to have movie night pretty soon. Blazing yeah. Saddles, make sure you go check it out. Yep. And once again, our <laughs> 10,000 subscriber special, I got to put it all up. Your signed headshot of Rob Reiner. Rob Reiner. <laughs> so, remember to subscribe to get into that drawing. All right. You don't have a Carl Reiner one? I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>